Six uh, beer, different, tangy but sweet. Good job, Mike. Oh, cheers! Happy homebrew Wednesday. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have any brewing. Uh, I don't think there's any brewing footage this week. Uh, I didn't brew. I was actually I was supposed to brew on Monday. I had the day off on Monday, uh, federal holiday, uh, Martin Luther King Day, and I was gonna brew, but. Trying to remember why I didn't. Um, I'm also on a diet, and this is an, an actually a no beer uh, challenge week, but I'm gonna break that for Homebrew Wednesday. So I have here a, I always felt closer to IPAs than I did to people. Uh, double dry hopped India Pale Ale, one pint from Evil Twin Brewing. Uh, already tasted one of these, it's pretty good. So I will get this in the glass. This is a really good beer. Actually worked from home today because it was supposed to be the Snowmageddon uh, that didn't pan out for us here, but um, I've got a rental car that I had to go turn in today and uh, had to drive the kids to school uh, two hours late for a uh, two hour delay. So went ahead and worked from home and I actually got quite a bit done, uh, surprisingly enough. So cheers to you out there. Mmm, that is freaking yummy. Um, another cool thing that happened, this is going to be a short one, I don't have a whole lot to talk about, uh, but one cool thing that happened to me this week is I have my bottle shop, uh, this is the one that, you know, um, down at the end of the street, uh, well, it's, I don't know, several, a mile or two up the road, but uh, it's in a Safeway, a Safeway shopping center and it's uh, this place called uh, Unwind. And they have, you know, mostly wine. You know, but they, they actually have a whole corner of the store dedicated to craft beer. They got a couple of coolers. They got the European side on one side of the rack and then one side of the cooler space. And they've got the American craft beer on the other side of the rack and the other side of the cooler space. And then they have a, a shelf of kind of, you, know, um, you know, sour ales and specialty, you know, uh, beers, you know, you buy by the bottle. So I go in and... Uh, the guy there, I'm trying to think of the guy's name, he, he'll, he'll email me if there's something cool showing up and if I remember to check in my spam folder, I'll, I'll find it. But I happen to swing, I swing in, let's, 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 let's be real, almost every day. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, you know, he sees me and he's, hey, what's going on? And you know, uh, I said, hey, you know, wait, you got anything interesting today? If you go on Tuesdays, that's when they stock them. Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, Tuesdays the major stock day, Thursday is kind of the, you know, well apparently, uh, founders uh, sent a note uh, several days ago, uh, sent him a text message at like right, right at midnight, it was like 11.30 he said, and they said, hey, we've got some return uh, stocks of, uh, of CBS, uh, does anybody, uh, is anybody uh, interested in it? And so um, he luckily, thankfully for me, he uh, replied to that he was up monitoring the text and so I got a bottle of CBS. Uh, so I am, I'm so stoked. You know, Larry Lentz brought me a, um, a gingerbread stout, uh, from Hardywood. And now I've got this, uh, uh, CBS. What is a CBS? It's a Canadian, is it a breakfast stout? Canadian bourbon stout? You know, it's got bourbon in it. So I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's a bourbon stout, but anyway, looking forward to looking forward to getting into that. So have to wait till challenge week is over. Maybe that, that'll be how I celebrate on, on Sunday. So, uh, Well, I hope uh, you all you guys had good football weeks. It was a bad day for the Steelers. Um, it was a sorry SJ. Um, who else is out there in Steeler land? Um, uh, my wife actually is a Steeler fan. She doesn't really keep up with football. But my team's out of it, so I'm just watching with kind of you know distant interest uh, at all the ups and downs now. So, I don't know, pressure's off. So, I don't have to, you know, I'm able to not, you know, bite my nails. Uh, during the playoffs because my team is out so early. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, the Hellas is really the only thing I got going on right now other than the, the uh, and a couple of you guys, uh, I know Nate, I promised to send out some beer mail. I've been dragging on my ass uh, 
uh, doing that. Uh, but I do have the bottles and they're sanitizing. So I've got some that I bottled and I didn't put labels on. So I think I know, I think I know what they are, but I'm not really sure. So Nate, I'll, I'll send you some beers and, and I'll have them labeled. It's either this or this. So if it tastes like a pale ale, then it's a pale ale. If it tastes like a, uh, uh, an IPA, double IPA, then it's a double IPA. Uh, then I have some, I think that are, uh, um, uh, Saison and, uh, and I want to get some of this brown ale, uh, in the bottle for you. And I'd like to, I actually might hold on another week or so. Because I think the Hellas will be ready, and, and I think the Hellas is going to come out really, really good. Uh, it's going to be super light, super clear. So I might just wait till then, and then get all the beer mails together and send them out. So apologize for uh, being behind the behind the power curve on that. But uh, but anyway, the Hellas. Uh, you know, I did the brewlosophy. I'm doing the brewlosophy three week. I'm about most of the way through the second week now. Uh, I brewed it on a I brewed it a couple of Sundays ago. Um, on the Friday after the Sunday, I brewed it. It had already attenuated to like 10, 11, I think. 10, 11 or, yeah, 10, 11. So I was kind of surprised because it's supposed to, it went from 10, 57 to 10, 11. And it's supposed to, it's supposed to attenuate, you know, and, and I pitched it at, what, 48 degrees? And, uh, uh, yeah, how did I do that? I pitched it at 48 degrees. I'm trying to remember how I got it so cool. Um, but I did. I think I put it in there, I got it cold, and then I pitched it. But uh, it was the Imperial uh, yeast uh, in the can, so maybe that, that's why it attenuated so fast. But, but anyway, you're supposed to attenuate the first week 50% of what you expect to attenuate. Then you ramp it up to 65, let the diacetyl rest kind of kill off all the, all, the, all the butterscotch. And then you start lowering back after, you know, five or six days or seven days, then you start lowering back down to your uh, 36 uh, lagering temperature. And I usually... I usually uh, uh, siphon it over to uh, uh, a secondary vessel, uh, a, a glass carboy. So I'll probably do that this weekend. Um, I'm still letting it sit at 65 to kind of make sure there's nothing funky going on. Uh, I used the, uh, what did I use? Harvest Ale Yeast, I think. So uh, so anyway, so, so that's where I am with that. I'll pop it on another week and that thing will, I'll gas it up and it'll be ready. Then I also picked up a, another can of joystick uh, ale yeast, which is what I used on the Atari Porter that I did. Uh, hence, I called it Atari Porter. Um, so uh, I got a can of that, and I said, "What am I? Oh, I'm doing a barley wine. So I, I got. I'm gonna. I'm planning about almost 20 pounds of grain. Um, you know, mostly two row. I might have to supplement with Marisotter if I don't, or not Marisotter with a uh, Pilsner if I don't have enough two row. Uh, but anyway, I got that. I got some, I got some specialty grains. I got some caramel 40 or something like that, and yeah, caramel 40, I think. And I got some other, some some Munich, uh, some Munich malts, I think. Anyway, um, it's gonna be a big old barley wine, and I'm using Denali and uh, uh, some Columbus, uh, some Magnum, and uh, I think some Amarillo. So. It's my first barley. It's my first barley wine to try. I don't know if it's, it's probably just going to come out like a big ass IPA because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, I'm going to do that probably this weekend. Um, so that'll be my next brew day. Other than that, that's about all I got going on. Um, I'm vehicle list right now because you know that Mini Cooper like crashed me uh, back you know uh, last month. And my insurance money ran out on the rental car, so I had to go turn my rental car in today, and so now I'm without a vehicle. So I'll be hitching either put my thumb up, you know, in Old Town, or I'll be hitching a ride with my wife, you know, back and forth to work. So that should be fun for the next couple of days. Hopefully, they had to order my bumper for the Volvo all the way from freaking Scandinavia. So it's, you know, I don't know, maybe uh, Tony Yates had his hands on my bumper or something. You know, I don't know. Probably came from Sweden, not, not, not uh, Norway. But anyway, uh, hey, that's all I got for this week. Hope you guys have a very happy, sorry it's kind of boring, there's not a whole lot going on. I don't know, maybe they're always boring, but anyway, glad you're joining me, uh, glad you're uh, staying with me. Uh, have yourself a happy homebrew, and uh, I'm getting ready to go punch out here and watch some Punisher. If you haven't seen Punisher, oh my god, it's on Netflix, awesome show. Um, it's got the guy in it from The Walking Dead who got killed off the first or second season. Um, he was also in uh, The Accountant, the guy's pretty cool. Uh, I don't normally like, you know, uh, adrenaline, you know, meathead kind of movies like that, but this one's, this one's pretty good. And it's got a little military background, too, which is cool. But anyway, I'm going to go tap out and go watch a little bit of that. So cheers, guys. Have yourself a happy homebrew and a very happy homebrew Wednesday. Cheers. <laughs>